Chris Hein, German Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. Prime Minister, I would like to ask you. Sorry, which paper? Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. I think that, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Prime Minister, I would like to ask you for your assessment of the change in the relationship between China and the US, given that the US, in a sense, are coming back to, to Asia now, or as Mrs. Clinton said, we are back in um, Indonesia a couple of months ago. So, what, what, what is this change in the relationship between China? And the US. I think that China and the U.S. have had generally a positive, relation, constructive relationship over the years. It's had its ups and downs. There have been difficult times. There have been frictions. And very often at the beginning of a U.S. administration, there has been a difficult running in period because the new administration wants to pursue a policy which is distinguished from the policy of its predecessor. And it proceeds and eventually... Uh, it finds the right level, and it may be there's some cla cl clashing of gears. But eventually, every U.S. president, whether Democrat or Republican, has decided that there's a tremendous U.S. interest at stake in maintaining a good, stable relationship with China. In the case of um, this Obama administration, I think there has been no clashing of gears. In fact, Mrs. Clinton made her first overseas visit to Asia, including China, And uh, from our point of view, that's ent entirely to the good. Um, and we hope that this will provide a stable framework for other countries in the region to be friends both with China and with America. I think when Mrs. Clinton said, we are back, it was not a criticism of China. It may have been meant as a comment on her predecessor. And the predecessor uh, was not against good relations in Asia, but in Mrs. Clinton's view and that of some other people too, Uh, they were very busily preoccupied with many other pressing issues in the Middle East and Afghanistan and therefore didn't pay as much attention to uh, Asia or Southeast Asia as we might have hoped.